Hi guys. Hi. How 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 are you both? We're good. We're good. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. I haven't actually long finished watching the toll, uh, so it's all uh, all fresh in my head. Um, it was I I really enjoyed it. I'm actually quite new to the horror psychological genre, so um, it it was quite a treat actually. Neat. That's great. What? Hey, I'm turning this interview on you. What did you like about it? Well, um, so I watched the trailers and I read the synopsis and um, I had an image in my head of what it was going to be like. And as the film went on, it kept changing uh, my expectations, uh, zigzagging around. And I, it, it was just, it wasn't what I predicted at all. Uh, and I, I think that's what I really liked about it. It was um, constantly surprising for me because uh, I had a, a vision in my head of what it was going to be like. So, okay. yeah, awesome. I'm, I just thought I'd uh, once again thank you for uh, chatting to me about this. It's um, been really exciting. I just thought I'd um, throw some questions at you and, and, and see what you can uh, come up with. Um, one thing that's always interested me about um, kind of like the psychological horror genre is. Um, the mindset of the actors on on set and um, how do you kind of like put yourself in the mindset uh, that you're in danger in in the scene that actually is uh it's a good question james because playing fear is really hard to do authentically you know similar to laughing it's not easy to make it seem real if you don't believe it yourself so um, I feel like there were a couple of moments where we did get into a situation like Jordan in the woods where we couldn't get, there was something about this scene that we couldn't, we couldn't find those levels of fear that we needed. And so Michael Nader uh, and our producer, Will Frank and, and Jordan and I, we came together and we found that moment and kind of created it on the day. Uh, and, and it's a challenge. Truthfully, it's a challenge to play that fear consistently. So Hopefully we got there. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, it's it's one of those emotions that I, I just can't, I've never had to pretend to be scared and, and to be able to do it um, yeah. to that degree. It's an interesting thing. I think I totally agree with Max. And just to kind of piggyback off of that, there's a physical reaction that your body gets when you're scared heart rate goes up, your breathing um, gets shortened. So there's a lot of things that you can do to kind of simulate that, um, that will help you get into the mindset of it. If you're kind of um, emulating those physical characteristics that you feel when you are afraid, I find that that helps a lot too. And also let's not forget, we were in the middle of the night, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of a group of people we didn't know that well at the time. Uh, so I, I think that, you know, our natural environment helped us. Um, and, you know, it, there are some scary themes that we play with in this film. So just, just by completely immersing ourselves into it and believing the dialogue, believing where this film goes, we could scare ourselves. For sure, yeah. Uh, I mean, it looked really creepy in that woods, like really, really creepy. And uh, I, I don't think I would have liked to have been there at all. <laughs> that's, that's that's one of my fears, I think. Um, and when people watch the toll, what do you think will surprise them or scare them the most when they actually get around to watching it? I mean, I would, I would think that it's kind of like what you experienced, just subverting expectations. It depends if, if people are used to the genre. I think there's a lot of unexpected turns that, uh, that, that we take in this film that will help keep people on their toes. Um, and I hope that, you know, just the, the storyline itself and how real and relatable it is to a lot of people, I hope that that will help them put themselves in these characters' positions. Yeah, and I think, you know, one thing that's so topical about this film is the comfortability of using rideshare and of trusting technology and getting into a stranger's car. And that's something that everyone, you know, or not everyone, but you're talking over 100 countries where you have access to rideshare. A lot of people understand where this film could go. And I think we twist it, um, but people can relate 
to what the thesis is going into this project? Sure, and I, I think what helped as well is, um, especially in terms of um, what I'm used to is, um, it really plays on the fears and concerns of individual characters. So it's not, while there is the toll man um, as, a, as a physical entity to cause fear, it's very much uh, dependent on you two as characters and your um, kind of inner fears and experiences. I think that's what sets it apart, uh, particularly for me, from other um, kind of movies that uh, kind of delve into that psychological era is it's always about you two and um, your experiences in, in, in the mind sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that that's one of the things that we both really liked about the script as well is that it is, there is an intelligence about it that is very captivating and that Michael really delves into you each character and their backstory and why they feel like this and what they're afraid of and what traumas they've gone through in the past. So there isn't really that there's, there's a lot that's underneath the surface for the audience to kind of dive into, which we both really liked. Yeah. In the end, you're dealing with humans and you're just watching humans interact with each other uh, in, in intense situations. And that's when the true colors really do come out. So I, uh, I just think people, what they get out of this will be what they get out of this, but we've all been the passenger or we've all been the driver, whether it be in a car or in a relationship, we'll, we'll relate to this. For sure. And um, you mentioned uh, earlier, um, you, you two are both uh, producers on the project mm -hmm. um, and as well as the stars. Um, how were you able to um, kind of chip in and get involved uh, with the overall project it was it was more than chipping in and getting involved with it was it was pretty much I mean we had one other producer who was fantastic um Will Frank but it was a lot of work um because when we would take off our actors hats we would be putting our producers hats producer hats on right away we would be sleeping I think we averaged maybe three hours of sleep a night um it was a lot of work. It was a huge undertaking. Anybody who's done or understands independent filmmaking knows that the producers end up doing insane amounts of work, even if it means just like taking out the garbage or, you know, doing, you know, smaller jobs like that and just helping out. So there was, uh, it was a very, very difficult process, but I think it made it all the more gratifying because of that. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think just because there was so much work on the producing front, it made us in some ways kind of just let go with the acting side. Yeah. You know, we didn't overthink things because we didn't have time to, which- and We were so drained from the producer side of it that there was no, that we were able to be vulnerable as the characters, which actually ended up working out pretty well. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, I, I believe that is, uh, do I have time for one more question? Yes. Perfect. Um, I thought I'd end with just this one um, to get people kind of pumped up and, and ready for the toll. Um, how would you describe the film to someone who hasn't seen the trailer? That's a good question. Uh, super quick, and, and Michael may fight me on this, but I think I would pitch it as a, a, a supernatural thriller about you know, ride share and why we've decided to trust this new service. And I know there's a lot more than just that, but that's what kind of, for me, gets me in. And then we can go on the journey. Oh gosh, now I have to answer it. Um, yeah, I would say, I'm so bad at pitching movies. Um, <laughs> I would say this is the, um, a movie that brings your worst fears to life. I like it. I like it. Both good pitches. <laughs> You've enticed me and I've already seen it. <laughs> well then pre-order it again. <laughs> <laughs> Are, are you, you're in the UK, yeah? I am indeed, yes. So I think for, for UK audiences, we're a Shutter exclusive. Right, okay. I'll make a note. Okay. I don't have a UK release date in front of me. Christine, you don't happen to have a UK release date in front of you, do you? 
Um, I do not have um, the UK release information. We're just handling the US, but I'll get with Brad to see if he can send it. Great. And if he knows who's handling that part of the release. Perfect. Thank you. I can get that shared and um, hopefully we can get a bunch more people watching. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Great to Thank meet you, Jim. You so much for uh, taking the time to talk to me. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure and I can't wait for people to see the toll. Likewise, have a nice day. You too. Take care. Thanks, James. See ya. Thanks for watching, Super Friends. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button just down below and hit the bell so that you can get notified whenever we release brand new videos. In fact, there's two more waiting for you to watch right here below. So what are you waiting for? Why not click play?